What's up YouTube, this is Chris Sage Films, and it's been a while since I've made a tutorial for Fireworks S3, so that's what I'm going to do today. In this tutorial for Fireworks, I'll be teaching you guys how to fade from black to white to color on any image. So, go ahead and open up Fireworks S3. Or CS4, you can do this at either. And just let it load up. Okay, then you go to create a new fireworks document. And really doesn't matter here. You can if you know the size of your image, enter the pixels here. If not, just click OK, whatever you got. You go to file, open, and just find the picture. And just click there and it creates it creates a new one. You just go back here and just close this one out. And there you go, you got it here. So let me zoom out of this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more. There we go, that's pretty good. Okay, now what you're going to do from here, you're going to go over here to the vector area. Hold down the, uh, click the uh, rectangle tool here and hold it down if the rectangle tool is not selected. And just click it and make sure the color down here is white. And what you'll do is you'll have to make this a little bigger than the image. So just drag it up here, make it about halfway or wherever you want the fade to go on at, and cover that. If you go down here to edge, and select feather, I usually run the feather up to around 90, 100, whatever you want to. Makes it look a little bit better. Then go over to the effects to the right of the transparency list, and go from normal to color. And then take your selection tool and you can move this around. But right, that's what it is. It just fades black and white to color. This is really cool effects for certain projects they might be working on. So yeah, that's how you do it. 